everyone, welcome back to my channel, Beautiful Minutia. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany, and today I am sharing with you books that I got for Christmas. It's actually a tiny bit of a lie because some of these books are not Christmas. One I received before Christmas as a gift, and then I won a giveaway also, and then I have some that I thrifted. But the ones that I thrifted, I did use Christmas money for, so kind of still feel like that counts. So anyways, I am going to start with the book that I got from one of my lovely subscribers, Nicole from Lilac Cottage. When I hit 1000 subscribers, she sent me this beautiful cloth bound copy of The Tenant of Wildville Hall by Anne Bronte. I have not read this book. I have not read any Anne Bronte yet, but I've wanted to for a really long time. And this is such a beautiful edition. I am so excited about it. I think, yeah, it has like a ribbon bookmarker as well, which I love it when books have that. So thank you so much, Nicole. This was such a sweet surprise and a wonderful gift. And the giveaway that I won is actually super recent. So I won a giveaway for my friend Sandy at Miss Reads a lot. She was giving away some of her favorite books of 2022. And one of the books that she was giving away is one that I have had on my Amazon wish list for, I kid you not, years and years. And my library does not have it. And neither did my library when I lived in Illinois. And usually I could get books better there, but they didn't have it there either. So it was really disappointing. And it had been on my wish list, like I said, for forever. And this is the book that Sandy said had the most people enter to win this book. So I'm shocked that I won it, but so excited. And that's Kristen Lavernstadter by Sigrid Unset. So this is, I think, Norwegian and it's translated and it's a classic and it's a chunker. It's actually three books in one and I've wanted to read it for forever. So thank you so much, Sandy, for being so sweet and sharing some of your favorite books of the year with us. Okay, so now I'm gonna dive into books that were gifts and then the books that I thrifted with Christmas money. So still feels like they're gifts. So first of all, I have two books that my sweet friend Christy sent to me. Christy Lewis from Dostoevsky in Space. And actually the first one, I don't know where I put it. It's Wise Blood by Flannery O'Connor. This is the group read for Flannery on January. And so I am reading it and I put it down somewhere and now I can't find it. So that was book number one. And then book number two is The Girl with Seven Names. And this is a North Korean defector story that I'm pretty sure Christy and I think Penny read together last year and they both loved it. And I have wanted to read it for a super long time. I had heard amazing things actually even before Christy had read it from a friend of mine and I have had it on my radar for quite a long time. And so I'm super excited to have this. I hope to be able to get it to it soon because I think that it's gonna be amazing and I think that I'm really gonna love it. So these were wonderful, wonderful gifts. Thank you, Christy. Next up, I have a book that my brother-in-law bought me for Christmas and that's The Silmarillion by J.R.R. Tolkien. I've never read this. I tried to read it once in high school and I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan. If you've been here for a little while, you probably already know that I've mentioned multiple times that I used to reread the entire trilogy annually from the time I was 12 uh, right up until I had my daughter. So for a good probably 12 years or so, I was reading it annually. So I think I've reread that entire trilogy more times than any other book. So I tried to read The Cimmerillion and found it super dry in high school, but I think that it actually gets better and I didn't give it as much of a chance as I could have. So I'm really excited to have this because I do want to give it another chance because I think that I'm really going to like it. Also, this is technically not a book, but my brother-in-law so got me a shirt. Let me see if I can pull it up. Can you see it? <laughs> Isn't it great? It says Mordor Fun Run and then it says one does not simply walk. I love it so much. And my mother and father-in-law got me actually another shirt. Maybe I should show that to you first. A bibliophobia, the fear of running out of books. You would think that I have that based on how my house looks. And then they bought me this beautiful edition of Pride and Prejudice by Marjolene Baston, I think is the name. 
these are gorgeous i just saw sandy from miss reads a lot she got little the little women one recently and she opened it up and showed it and i was like oh, i need those <laughs> So they got me the edition of Pride and Prejudice. If you have not seen these editions, obviously the cover is amazing, but like the inside has like these beautiful, beautiful chapter heading illustrations. Lots of beautiful floral illustrations on the page. And then the super cool thing is that there's like little inserts here as well. So for example, here there's like a map of London. And then we also have this letter right here. And it's actually a letter from Mr. Darcy to Elizabeth. And so there's really cool stuff like that that are just tucked inside the book. So it's a really, really neat addition. Like it's beautiful, but it has so much cool extra stuff in it as well and ribbon bookmarker. So always a plus there as well. I also wanted to mention just because I think it's sweet. I think it's cool and it makes me happy. I have a lot of books that my husband's grandmother wrote and we actually named my daughter after my husband's grandmother because she's amazing and we have quite a few of her books and my mother-in-law was checking in with me to see which ones we have and I thought we had them all but there was one that she had written that we don't have and that's the Cracker Jack Kid so this is really special to have this I don't think that there are illustrations inside no there isn't but this picture on the front is actually my cousin painted this and there's a few of them that either my aunt or my cousin painted like the picture on the front and she actually signed this as well which I didn't realize that's really sweet and then this is a picture of my husband's grandfather who actually passed away long before he was born he passed away when my mother-in-law was in high school and so he's on the back so this is just really sweet and special so I did want to share it even though it's not one that you can buy anywhere or maybe even one that other people would necessarily be interested in but it is a book and I did get it for Christmas that's super special to me. Okay the last four books here that were gifted and not thrifted are all from my husband and I thought he was just gonna get me like one or two books and he got me a ton because they like went on a really good sales they all had like the coupons on them on Amazon so the first one is Dombey and Son by Charles Dickens this is one of the few Dickens left that I have not yet read I think I have three maybe four yeah, four, I think. And this is one of those four. So I'm really excited not just to own this one, but hopefully to read it pretty soon because that is like one of the few like lifelong reading goals I have is to have read all of Charles Dickens' works. Then on a very, very different scale is a nonfiction, which is Medical Appetite. And this is all about like medical experimentation and horrible things that were done to black Americans and this is going to be a really heavy book, but I also feel like it's an important book and definitely one that I have wanted to read for a while. I have another nonfiction here that I'm so, so excited that he got me. And it's The Memoirs of Lady Hyung Yong. And this is Korean and it's from the 18th century. And it's The Memoirs of the Crown Princess. And just from the back, it sounds like there's some intrigue happening there. I think her husband is killed. Yes, it recounts the chilling murder of her husband by his father. And this memoir is from 1795 to 1805. So I, I'm really excited to read this one. This is actually my classics TBR for the year. So this is one of my Asian picks because I'm trying to read more diversely, more translated works. And so I kind of did classics around the world. So this is one of my Asian books for the year. And so I am really, really, really excited that I got this one. And then the last book that my husband got me, this is such a diverse like selection of the four books he got me. Cytonic by Brandon Sanderson. So I have the first two books of the Skyward series and also the collection of the novellas. And I've only read the first two books. I loved the first book. The second book I felt like was not the greatest. I've actually not heard great things about Cytonic at all. I've heard this is people's least favorite but I feel like there's really good potential that he might actually wrap up the whole series really well because it's only going to be a four book series because he does that. He takes all these threads that have been running the whole time and brings them together and you're like, whoa, 
what just happened. So I have faith that he can do that. But I guess even if he doesn't, this is a YA series. And so I feel like in a few years, my daughter is going to be ready for this. And so I guess my worst case scenario is that I have the entire series for her to read when she gets there. Okay, so I have a little stack of books here that I thrifted. I went to a thrift store where you can fill a bag of books for a dollar. So I did that. And then I think I had a book or two that was my older sister's because she was with me. And so we didn't quite fill a bag, but that's okay. <laughs> Still really cheap. I have six books here. And so I know we had at least seven. I'm trying to remember if my sister had one or two books. But either way, if you think about it, six books for a dollar is pretty dang good. So the first one is Three Men in a Boat by Jerome K. Jerome. This is a book that I have heard lots of things about. I've heard it's so funny and I have never seen this at a thrift store. I don't think that this is like a book you would normally find there. And the same is true with the next book that I found, Ficciones by Borges. And I actually found Labyrinth by Borges at a thrift store for like 99 cents or 79 cents, something like that. And this one was like cheaper than that. I can't believe it. I'm so excited about that. So I am supposed to be reading Labyrinth in 2023, again, as part of my classics TBR. But you know, I guess maybe I'll continue on with Borges this year or I'll save it for next year. I don't know, but I'm really excited that I found it. As I found an Ian Forster book with a really ugly cover <laughs> where angels appear to tread, I just, this lady kind of creeps me out to be honest, but it's okay. <laughs> I have only read a room with a few, but when you're paying just like less than 20 cents a book, I don't know, just doesn't seem like it, it matters whether or not it's one you're gonna absolutely love, but it is one I would like to read. I also got The Enormous Crocodile by Roald Dahl. We actually own this one, but ours is falling apart. So I figured we might need a replacement one. This is such a fun story. I really like it. It was one of my daughter's favorites when she was younger and she still rereads it all the time. And I also got a Steinbeck. I got Cannery Row, which I have never read. So I'm excited that I have this one. And I love these editions. I think they're really pretty. I think maybe I have East of Eden in this edition as well. And then the last book is one that I'm not sure if I'll like, but I've heard some people talk about it. And I feel like I've been hearing about it for a really long time. And that's Gilead by Marilyn Robinson. I don't really know much about this. So I don't know. <laughs> I do like the cover and I've heard that it's good. And again, when it's like fill a bag for a dollar, I feel like I can take some chances. I know that I said I wasn't gonna bring in a lot of extra books to try to reduce my physical TBR this year, but this is like one book out of like six and I'm definitely gonna read the other five. Well, I definitely will read this one as well. I just don't know what to expect going in. So I don't feel like it's a waste of money if I, you know, paid like what, maybe 15 cents for it or something like that. I don't feel like it's a waste of money. I just, I'm not sure what it's about or if it'll be my kind of book or not, but definitely willing to take a chance on it. And like I said, I have heard a lot of people say really good things about it. So, so there you have it. There is my Christmassy book haul. I also, I almost forgot got some amazing magnets from my friend Dia from Novel Idea. They are book themed and cat themed and I actually have them like on the metal parts of my bookshelf. I'll be sure to insert a clip so you can see them but they're like they're up there. So I see them every time I'm in here and they're so cute. I love them so much. So I'll definitely either have some pictures or clip here so you can get a better look at them, but I think they are the cutest. So thank you so much, Dia. It was such a great and thoughtful gift. Well, that's it for this book haul. I would love to hear from you in the comments down below if there are any of these books that you think I should prioritize. If you've read Gilead, what were your thoughts? Do you think I'll like it? I'm not really sure. And also I'd love to know if you've got any books for Christmas, what are some that you're really excited about? Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please hit like and also subscribe so you can continue to see more bookish content from me. And I will see you again next time.